Updated August 9, 2017, 1215 East New York, U.S. August.9 Ani North Korea has already developed a miniaturized nuclear weapon that can fit on top of an ICBM, according to new U.S. intelligence assessment. North Korea has crossed a threshold to become a full-fledged nuclear power as they have successfully developed a nuclear weapon that can be fitted on top of a ballistic missile, including an intercontinental ballistic missile that can reach the United States, CBS News quoted David Martin, as saying. U.S. intelligence has also estimated North Korea has enough nuclear material to build dozens of weapons. The last time North Korea conducted a nuclear test, the estimated yield was roughly twice that of the bomb the U.S. dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. But North Korea is still in the development stage of a re-entry vehicle that can withstand the heat and the vibration of re-entering the Earth's atmosphere, and develop the means to accurately target the warhead, Martin reports. The Washington Post initially reported the intelligence assessment that North Korea is now making missile-ready nuclear weapons. Sanctions were imposed in the wake of Pyongyang's testing of an intercontinental missile apparently capable of reaching the U.S. mainland amid increased tensions on the Korean peninsula. Moreover, Japanese defense white paper released on Tuesday, stated the threat from North Korean nuclear weapons has reached a new stage, adding it was conceivable North Korea had made progress on miniaturizing a nuclear warhead to place on its new long-range missiles. President Trump has emphasized the need to be tough on North Korea and its leader Kim Jong-un, most recently with a tweet while on his working vacation in Bedminster, New Jersey. A CBS News poll released Americans are uneasy about the possibility of a military conflict with North Korea. Ani Katmandu Nepal, August 9th Anapo preparations are on full swing for Nepal Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Dubey's visit to India, but Nepal is yet to receive a written invitation from the Indian government, sources here have informed. Full story greater than greater than Lahore, Pakistan, August 9th Anadamina Dirani, the fourth wife of Punjab Chief Minister Shabaz Sharif, has voiced her protest over her husband being given the responsibility of tightening security measures for former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif two days rally from Islamabad to Lahore. Full story greater than greater than Dhaka, Bangladesh, August 9th Ani the Asian Development Bank ADB will offer the government of Bangladesh a loan of US$200 million United States dollars to strengthen urban infrastructure, service delivery and governance in municipalities. Full story greater than greater than Islamabad, Pakistan, August 9th Ani in a first at aiming to secure the rights of transgenders in Pakistan two bills were introduced in the National Assembly. Full story greater than greater than Tehran U.S. August 9th and Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif has said that the main priority of his country is to de-escalate tensions with the United States. Full story greater than greater than London U.K. August 9th and a French police are searching for a driver who plowed in two soldiers of Operation Sentinel, which is part of France's ongoing state of emergency introduced after the November 2015 terrorist attacks. Full story greater than greater than Kabul Afghanistan, August 9th Any additional U.S. Marines have been dispatched to Afghanistan to strengthen its forces in the violent Helmand province where Taliban has increased their attacks. Full story greater than greater than Gilgit Pakistan, August.9 Ani several organizations, including the Gilgit Baltistan Thinkers Forum GBTF, have strongly condemned the arrest of Hasnain Ramal, a social media and political activist from the Hunza Valley in Gilgit Baltistan. Full story greater than greater than Beijing, China, August 9th Ani warning India not to flirt with disaster, state-run Chinese media on Wednesday said new. Delhi would be foolish to underestimate Beijing's prowess to safeguard its soil and territory. Full story greater than greater than New York U.S., August 9th Ani North Korea military is preparing and examining a plan to launch a missile strike on the strategic U.S. Pacific territory of Guam, just hours after President Donald Trump warned the regime that any threat to the United States would be met with fire and fury. Full story greater than greater than Lahore, Pakistan, August.9 Ani ignoring security threats, former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif began his two days journey for Lahore via GT Road on Wednesday, saying his innings was not over. Full story greater than greater than Taiz Yemen, August 9th Ani at least 14 Saudi mercenaries have reportedly been killed in separate incidents by the Yemeni Shihadi rebels in Taiz, located in country's southwestern part. Full story greater than greater than California U.S. August 9th Ani the United States Marine Corps has considered a plan that would allow women to attend a mala only combat training at Southern California in United States. Full story greater than greater than Kathmandu Nepal August 9th Ani four dead bodies were pulled from the rubble by rescue officials after a landslide hit a village in Nepal's Rasua district. 
Full story greater than greater than New Jersey United States, August 9th Ani reiterating his campaign promise to fight opioid crisis in the country, United States President Donald Trump on Tuesday said that stronger law enforcement is needed to combat this issue. Full story greater than greater than Cape Town, South Africa, August 9th Ani South Africa's President Jacob Zuma has narrowly survived a no-confidence motion against him in the parliament. Full story greater than greater than New Jersey USA, August 9th on the United States President Donald Trump on Tuesday warned North Korea, saying that Pyongyang will face fire and fury if it continues to threaten the U.S. Full story greater than greater than Cairo, Egypt, August 9th on the unidentified gunman on Tuesday killed a police officer and injured two others in Egypt's southern Kana province. Full story greater than greater than Chengdu, China, August 9th on the at least five people were killed and several others injured after a 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck China's Sichuan province on Tuesday. Full story greater than greater than Masri Sharif, Afghanistan, August 8th on the at least 235 hostages were rescued from the Taliban in northern Sarapul province of Afghanistan on Tuesday. Full story greater than greater than.